Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm Simmer RN again. So, as I uh, the last uh, uh, lecture I discussed about the respiratory system. So today I will discuss again the further disease conditions. So firstly, like I want to uh, say uh, hello to everyone. How are you doing? I hope everyone is doing good with the NCLEX, RN and LPN, RPN preparation. So here whenever I, I will teach about the topics, so I will discuss about some NCLEX RN questions also. I hope everyone will be like and everyone will be like subscribe my channel and also like uh, uh, like learn more and more about the NCLEX RN and RPN. So here to start the topic, so today I will discuss about the tuberculosis and pneumonia. So this is very important topics in respiratory system. So I hope every will, everybody will be understand very well. So in between I will try to use the Punjabi language so everybody can understand very well. So firstly is tuberculosis. So tuberculosis as sorry Jandia Jameke in medical profession so I hope all the nurses uh, knows like what is tuberculosis. So this type of disease condition we usually we can see in the hospital environment usually. So when we person with tuberculosis, we using use the separate room for the person to be there. So uh, in this, uh, firstly uh, we can discuss about the uh, what's up tuberculosis. So what's how tuberculosis cause? So tuberculosis mainly caused by the mycobacterium tuberculi. So in this, uh, whenever we discussing, we will discuss about the uh, risk factors, transmission, clinical manifestations, and treatment of the tuberculosis. So firstly, uh, if I wanna say like about the tuberculosis, you know, we uh, a hospital to take the patient with tuberculosis. The way you can see like we have to wear the N95 and proper gown, gloves and uh, uh, we need to be all like uh, wear the uh, like uh, proper, we need to be uh, take the precautions because this infection is droplet infection and airborne. So it's spread very, like it's highly contagious. So we need to be take precautions and uh, we need to be like whenever we going to the patients, we need to be very careful, wear the mask and uh, use all the precaution, universal precaution we are using. So firstly, we're gonna um, discuss about the risk factors. So we know about the risk factors. So risk factor ki ho sakde ne, jadho bhi person ho tuberculosis hundi hai, but firstly we can say, or maybe it's a elderly people. So elderly, why this happening elderly people? So because the elderly they have immunocompromised system, like their immunity is very weak, their lungs are very weak. And sometimes they prone to many infections. So some elderly people they, like sometimes they have like infection like, we can see now a uh, COVID-19 is uh, like very, very, you know, is uh, in everywhere. So some people have COVID-19 and it can lead to pneumonia also because COVID-19 can cause like weakening of the lungs. So if the lungs are weak, so this infection like pneumonia is happening very, very soon and is affecting the people like in higher date. If the people is getting covered in uh, elder people's like it's, it's very higher rate so they are also getting the pneumonia very easily so we can say elder people's because their immunity is very weak and their lungs are very weak <clears throat> so risk factor children so children infection uh, we can say like uh, uh, Children, when uh, there is infection, like, uh, um, like we can say, like when we are older, we can say that 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 we can say that when we are older, we can say that when we are older, we can say that when we are so after pneumonia, after weakening of the lungs, it can cause the tuberculosis after pneumonia. 
so after that we can say it's also happening in uh, like uh, the people who uh, like in children also it, it can cause because of their lungs weakness and uh, we can cause like it's also happening in the area where is uh, like crowded like uh, uh, because this infection is uh, uh, droplet so it can happen like it's airborne so people don't know so some people because the uh, we sometimes we we can't recognize like in primary stage so people who are living in crowded places they are very prone to these disease conditions like because there uh, we can say in the like long term care facilities in hospitals or in uh, uh, mental health facility people are in crowded places they are living so they they are very prone to tuberculosis because they sometimes we can't recognize these symptoms these symptoms is very common like it's like like a flu like chills fever and until is uh, like the diagnosis we are doing and we going for this sputum culture other diagnosis we are going for or we are going for diagnostic test so then we can recognize otherwise sometimes it's very hard to recognize this disease so uh for category this factors i mean tuberculosis so uh how tuberculosis jadi a a jive ke apa ka lo immuno compromised people hundi hai ya jide person jide a apa ka lo one to one jide contact ch aunde ne jive ke family members ohna nu vi ho sakdi hai people who are very uh, socio economic status they living in very uh, we can say uh, poor conditions so is also this mycobacterium tuberculosis can uh, spread over there because of their conditions and uh, also like happening in people who are moving from one country to another countries so this disease condition can happen so also like uh, <clears throat> we can say like mycobacterium tuberculosis is also happening to people like who are also lot like uh, we can say compliance to medications like if person is uh, uh, getting tuberculosis one time and so getting the proper treatment can happen to again that person tuberculosis so these are all the risk factors so transmission so next is that transmission so how the tuberculosis is transmitted so in this uh, uh, ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਹੀ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਟਿਊਬਰਕਲੋਸਿਸ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਟਰਾਂਸਮਿਟਡ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਆ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਏਅਰ ਬੋਰ ਡਰੋਪਲਟ ਸੋ ਵਨ ਪਰਸਨ ਟੂ ਅਨਦਰ ਸੋ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਨਲੀ ਮੇਨਲੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੰਟੈਕਟ ਚ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਏਅਰ ਬੋਰਨ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਸਪਰੈਡ ਬਾਈ ਦੀ ਡਰੋਪਲਟ ਇਨਫੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਸੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਪੀਪਲਸ ਨੂੰ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਵਨ ਟੂ ਵਨ ਕੰਟੈਕਟ ਇਫ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰਿਕੋਸ਼ਨ ਨਾਟ ਵੇਅਰਿੰ ਵੇਅਰਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਐਨ 95 ਸੋ ਥੀਸ ਆਰ ਦੀ ਕਾਜ਼ਸ ਔਰ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਗੈਟ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਮਿਟ ਫ੍ਰੋਮ ਵਨ ਪਰਸਨ ਟੂ ਅਨਦਰ ਪਰਸਨ ਵੈਰੀ ਈਜ਼ਲੀ ਔਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਫਾਸਟ ਇਸ ਕਮਿਊਨੀਕੇਟਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਇਜ਼ ਕਲੀਨਿਕਲ ਮੈਨੀਫੈਸਟੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਸੋ ਜਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਪਰਸਨ ਨੂੰ ਟਿਊਬਰਕਲੋਸਿਸ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਸਿੰਪਟਮਸ ਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ so firstly jadon vi tuberculosis hundi hai ta fever chills so ede vich hor kehde kehde system hai jaise sputum with mycoid we can say production or maybe streaks with blood also so sometimes they have like anorexia like loss of appetite weight loss so these all things is happening to a person with tuberculosis so if the person have tuberculosis so treatment is like dots drug observation therapy so medication is going like 6 six, 6 six weeks to or 6 months to uh, we can say one year also according to uh, the how the doctor see the, uh, the treatment like according to that they need to be very consistent with the medication because they can't be miss the dose so in this treatment is there is medications like specific medication we are using for the tuberculosis so so mainly uh jive ki main tuberculosis discuss kiti hai mainly is i can summarize like ek tarah di bacteria infection hai caused by the bacterium mycobacterium tuberculosis mainly kehde people nu hundi hai jide ke jive ke apa keh lo uh, risk factor de vich jive ke people's immunity bahut weak hai ya ohna nu uh, 
ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਏਡਸ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਐਚ ਆਈ ਵੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਵੀਕ ਲੰਗਸ ਜਾਂ ਇਮਿਊਨੋ ਕੰਪਰੋਮਾਈਜ਼ਡ ਪੀਪਲ ਲਾਈਕ ਐਲਡਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਲੋਅਰ ਸੋਸ਼ੀਓ ਇਕਨੋਮਿਕ ਗਰੁੱਪਸ ਔਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਕਰਾਊਡਡ ਪਲੇਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਮੂਵਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਵਨ ਪਲੇਸ ਟੂ ਅਨਦਰ ਪਲੇਸ ਸੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਪੀਪਲ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਈਜ਼ੀਲੀ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਫੈਕਟ ਕਰਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਡਿਜ਼ੀਜ਼ ਕੰਡੀਸ਼ਨਸ ਸੋ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਨੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਸ ਏਅਰ ਬੋਰ ਡਰੋਪਲੇਟ ਇਨਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਸੋ ਵਨ ਪਰਸਨ ਟੂ ਅਨਦਰ ਸੋ ਵੈਰੀ ਕੇਅਰਫੁਲ ਫॉर ਦੀ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਲ ਪ੍ਰਿਕੋਸ਼ਨਸ ਐਂਡ 95 ਮਾਸਕ ਐਂਡ 올 ਦੀ ਗਾਊਨ ਗਲਵਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਆਈ ਸ਼ੇਲਡ ਸੋ 올 ਦੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਪ੍ਰਿਕੋਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਸੋ ਜਦੋਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਲੀਨਿਕਲ ਮੈਨੀਫੈਸਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਸੋ ਐਸ ਆਈ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਕਲੀਨਿਕਲ ਮੈਨੀਫੈਸਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਇੱਕ ਪਰਸਨ ਨੂੰ ਫੀਵਰ ਚਿਲਸ ਨਾਈਟ ਸਵੈਟਸ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਲਾਈਕ ਬਲੱਡਿੰਗ ਸਪੂਟਮ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਸਟ੍ਰੀਕ ਸਪੂਟਮ ਵਿਦ ਮਿਕੋਇਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸਕ੍ਰੀਸ਼ਨਸ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਆਉਣਗੀਆਂ ਸੋ ਟ੍ਰੀਟਮੈਂਟ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਡਿਸੀਜ਼ ਕੰਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਲਸੋ ਔਰ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਸਿਮਟਮਸ ਔਰ ਮੇਨਲੀ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਡਰਗਸ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਟਿਊਬਰਕਲੋਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਪ੍ਰਿਸਕ੍ਰਿਪਸ਼ਨ ਔਰ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਟ੍ਰੀਟਮੈਂਟ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਵੈਰੀ ਕੰਸਿਸਟੈਂਟ ਇਸ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਬੀ 6 ਮੰਥਸ ਟੂ 1 ਇਅਰ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਗੋ ਸੋ ਆਫਟਰ 2 ਟੂ 3 ਅ ਲਾਈਕ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਥੈਰੇਪੀ ਪਰਸਨ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਪਰਸਨ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋਟ ਕੰਟੈਜੀਅਸ ਹੀ ਕੈਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਵਰਕ ਆਲਸੋ ਔਰ ਹੀ ਕੈਨ ਗੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਪਲੇਸਸ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਪਰਸਨ ਇਜ਼ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਨੋਨ ਕੰਟੈਜੀਅਸ ਆਫਟਰ 2 ਟੂ 3 ਵੀਕ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਮੈਡੀਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਥੈਰੇਪੀ ਸੋ ਜਦੋਂ ਕਿ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਟਿਊਬਰ ਕਲੋਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਸੋ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਸ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮ ਸੋ ਸਮ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਔਰ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਮੈਨੀ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਆਫ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਮੀਨ ਦਾ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦੀ ਟਿਊਬਰ ਕਲੋਸਿਸ ਸੋ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਕੀ ਆ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆ ਸਕਦਾ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਆ ਡਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਟਿਊਬਰ ਕਲੋਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਡਾਈਟ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਰਿਚ ਇਨ ਆਇਰਨ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੀਨ ਵਿਟਾਮਿਨ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਕਿਉਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਡਾਈਟ ਆ ਉਹ ਆਇਰਨ ਰਿਚ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੀਨ ਵਿਟਾਮਿਨ ਸੀ ਰਿਚ ਲੈਣੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਪਰਸਨ ਨੂੰ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਲੋਸ ਆਫ ਐਪੀਟਾਈਟ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਉਹਦਾ ਵੇਟ ਲੋਸ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਸੋ ਅਗਰ ਉਹਦਾ ਵੇਟ ਲੋਸ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਡਾਈਟ ਦਵਾਂਗੇ ਰਿਚ ਇਨ ਆਇਰਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੀਨ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਟਾਮਿਨ ਸੀ ਤਾਂ ਜੋ ਉਹਦੀ ਵਿਟਾਮਿਨ ਸੀ ਇਜ਼ ਹੈਲਪਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਹੀਲਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਪਰਸਨ ਆਲਸੋ ਹੈਵ ਦੀ ਵੀਕਨੈਸ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੀਨ ਰਿਚ ਡਾਈਟ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਹਿਮ ਵੇਟ ਟੂ ਨੋਰਮਲ ਲੈਵਲ ਸੋ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਕੇਮ ਇਨ ਐਂਡ ਕਲਿਕਸ ਆਰ ਐਨ ਐਂਡ ਆਰ ਪੀ ਐਨ ਔਰ ਐਲ ਪੀ ਐਨ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਫ ਡਾਈਟ ਵੀ ਰეკਮੈਂਡ ਇਨ ਟਿਊਬਰੋਲੋਸਿਸ ਸੋ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਰਿਚ ਇਨ ਆਇਰਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੀਨ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਟਾਮਿਨ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਫ ਡਾਈਟ ਵੀ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਰეკਮੈਂਡ ਫੋਰ ਦੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਵਿਦ ਟਿਊਬਰੋਲੋਸਿਸ ਸੋ ਆ ਟਿਊਬਰੋਲੋਸਿਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆ ਸਕਦ
ਸੋ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਪਰਸਨ ਕਿਉਂ ਡੀਪ ਬ੍ਰੀਥ ਲੈਣੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਰੈਕੋਗਨਾਈਜ਼ ਸੀ ਆ ਮਾਈਕੋ ਬੈਕਟੀਰੀਆ ਟੂ ਬਰਗਲਾਈਜ਼ ਸੋ ਦੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ ਦੇ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਦੀ 3 ਡੀਪ ਬ੍ਰੀਥ ਸੋ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਐਨਕਲੈਕਸ ਆਰ ਐਂਡ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਹਾਊ ਆ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਪਟੇਨ ਦੀ ਸਪੂਟਨ ਸਪੈਸਮਨ ਸੋ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਟੇਕ ਦੀ 3 ਡੀਪ ਬ੍ਰੀਥ so next question is like which diagnostic test will confirm the diagnosis of tuberculosis so there is we are doing firstly uh, like skin test we are going for then doctor is sending for chest x ray and then doctor is sending for the sputum culture so jada main jada confirmatory test hai sputum culture so always we need to be confirmed by the sputum culture how we i we confirm the tuberculosis by the sputum culture so uh so next question can come in the nclex rnr in uh, exam first symptom of the tuberculosis so tuberculosis the first symptom ki ho sakta hai so always first symptom we can say is cough with mucoid sputum so this is the first symptom of the tuberculosis so root of the transmission of the tuberculosis is airborne so droplet so it is always one to one person so that's why we using the n95 masks because this infection is very highly spread by the uh, airborne or droplet this is the infection so this is all about the tuberculosis and the this questions is very very important according to you of the nclex r and rp exam so uh, i can repeat again all the things like tuberculosis the diet always should be a uh, question can came like in the nclex r and and rp exam diet should be iron rich protein rich and vitamin c because person is losing the weight sputum culture always we need to be take um, like three deep breath can need to be take the sputum specimen because sputum is the uh, like we can say confirmatory diagnostic test so we can recognize the disease by sputum culture so uh first symptom of tuberculosis is uh, um, we can say is say uh, cough with mucoid sputum so root of transmission is airborne droplet nuclei so this is the root of transmission of the tuberculosis so uh, at the end we can say like tuberculosis is very highly contagious disease so take precautions whenever going to hospital and uh, whenever you uh, like dealing with the patient whoever who who, who have the tuberculosis so next is pneumonia so what is pneumonia so pneumonia is the we can say infection of the pulmonary tissue so ide vich ki hunda mainly uh, pneumonia ki vi ki vi affect kardi hai pneumonia lungs nu affect kardi hai mainly uh, is the infection of the lungs so it's spreading to uh, alveoli bronchioles the other parts of the lungs is affecting so pneumonia may be is cause like mainly uh, causes bacteria and virus so pneumonia is also a, is a lung infection so it's also a very important topic pneumonia so a a kidda hundi hai mainly apa bacteria or virus as i told you so ide vich assessment ki karde ne so mainly assessment de vich patient nu same symptom aunde ne like fever chills and uh, they have uh, we can say sh- like low grade fever or like sweat sweating so these are symptoms that is happening in the pneumonia and sometimes they have like uh, uh, hemoptysis like blood in the sputum also occurring so in this intervention what are the intervention we we can do in pneumonia so pneumonia de vich jehde intervention a oh mainly apa kar sakde ha jive ke pneumonia jadon vi person nu pneumonia hunda hai ta according to symptom we are treating because person have like uh, some type person have like breathing difficulty so we are giving the oxygen 
and a person have like we can say mycoid sputum and some we are giving the cpt like chest physiotherapy to uh, drainage of these secretions and also we need to encourage the patient like three liter of water a day so that secretion can be thin and it can be uh, excreted from the body according to symptom if the patient have fever we are giving antipyretic and the, in this person when when breathing so on the inspiration always feeling the pain during the pneumonia so we are giving the antibiotic for the uh, congestion we are giving by bronchodilator also we are giving the nebulizer according to the symptoms we are providing all the medications so in this also uh, we are giving a semi follow position for ease in breathing to the patient so this is all about the pneumonia so pneumonia is a uh, very important according to NCLEX RN. So in, what is pneumonia is an infection of the lungs. So mainly it's affecting the uh, pulmonary tissue, alveoli and also bronchioles. So in this uh, mainly, when we have pneumonia, we can say like as I told you like mainly fever and chills and sometimes person have the bloody sputum also there so a uh, person have the, like whenever person is breathing there is a, like inspiration during inspiration they have the pain and uh, we can say a uh, person have crackles and wheezing sounds also we can hear so in this uh, uh, we can treat this according to symptoms we can Go for the intervention like if person have breathing difficulty go for oxygen semi follow position chest physiotherapy give three liter of water a day and also nebulizer for the secretions comfort position and according to the symptom we can give the medications so in this uh, what we can do like uh, in this nclex rn question because this is very important topic so nclex rn questions can, can come so what nclex RN question comes firstly they can ask about like in pneumonia how much fluids need to be encouraged so always three liter fluids a day we need to encourage in the pneumonia so three liter fluids a day so diet because this is also a disease condition like they have difficulty in breathing in pneumonia patients so it's very hard for the patient to eat because they either they can breathe or they can eat so in this way, always uh, uh, recommend the patient like high calorie, high protein diet. Whenever they're taking, like they're taking small frequent meals. So we, we always encourage the patient like take the high calorie, high protein diet. So patient is always using, how the patient is breathing during pneumonia. So patient is always using the accessory muscles to breathe during the pneumonia. They like it's, it's like they they are very hard to breathe and uh, they always need oxygen sometimes like uh, uh, according to their breathing level we are providing the oxygen and in this like accessory muscles they are using for the breathing because it's very hard for them to breathe so sometimes uh, like we can say they have uh, crackles and what type of sound we can hear in pneumonia is very important question like crackles and wheezing sound we can hurt in the pneumonia. So always sputum culture, we can identify the organism. So there is question in the NCLEX RN also, how the organism can identify during the pneumonia, like what organism affecting and how we can recognize. So it's by the sputum culture, we can identify the organism. So this is all about the pneumonia. So I can repeat again like pneumonia is infection of the lungs is affecting all over the system of the lungs like bronchi, alveoli and also like the sometimes like other system also be affected. So in this mainly uh, causes is bacteria or virus in this person is feeling very difficult in breathing also fever, chills and um, like uh, they can also say the patient have the hemoptysis and bloody sputum so according to symptom we can provide the patient intervention like if a patient have the difficulty breathing we can give semi follow position we can give oxygen we can give cpt chest physiotherapy we can provide the uh, medication antipyretic analgesic bronchodilator nebulizer uh, we all uh, like according to the symptom doctor is prescribing the treatment 
So NCLEX RN question as I discuss in this uh, always take the fluid 3 liters a day and also diet should be high calorie high protein with small forestivant meal and uh, patient with the pneumonia how is breathe with accessory muscles what are type of sounds crackles wheezing organism how the organism identifies so it's always by the uh, how the organism by the sputum cultures. So this is all about the tuberculosis, pneumonia. So these two like topics are very very important according to the NCLEX RN view. So in this uh, whatever I discuss about the questions and about the topics is very important and please revise it and uh, use it during your exam. Uh, I hope everyone will be like and subscribe my channel and uh, i will see you in the next video and please uh, uh please study very well and uh, thank you and take care thank you have a good good day bye